Today is Tuesday, June 16th. I'm at Universal Orlando. I'm gonna try and ride Hagrid for the first time. It is a little bit busier getting here at open than it was a few days ago when I came in the middle of the afternoon, but still not as crazy as normal. Everyone is headed for Islands of Adventure. Literally no one went to studios. They have a team member out here you can't find reminding everyone now. to social distance. That throwback. They had it today. They have not had it for the last week. I did not get a pass to Hagrid. That is unfortunate. Um, I was here a couple days ago and I rode Forbidden Journey. Um, they see you one party per car and they skip the cars on either side of you. So I was entirely alone and I didn't love that. Um, I rode Play to the Hippogriff, Gringotts, and E.T. And all of them are, <laughs> I was basically alone. So I chose not to ride Mummy because I didn't want to do it all by myself. I didn't make it to Jurassic Park. So I'm gonna see what's going on over here now. All of the little games in Jurassic Park are closed. The raptor encounter has this new entrance. It is very quiet over here. Five minute wait for cutting the hat. And there's nothing else. Trust me. Made us jump. No one's in any of the cars around me. We look at two. Why we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with a cake. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hand. This is terrifying. Oh my god, I don't like that. <laughs> I was the only person in line, so they let the last family stay on. They're on the other side, and then, you know, just, yep. Nobody here. Did a whole lap of the park. And I'm back at Hogsmeade. They've got everybody lined up for Hagrid's. Since it's not as busy, there aren't lines for the interactive wand things. The line for Forbidden Journey looks really long right now, but according to the sign, it's only 20 minutes. 
When I was here the other day, there was no line outside at all. This is the queue for Flight of the Hippogriff. Well done. Go on then. <laughs> It's only a five minute wait for the Hogwarts Express, so I'm gonna go see what's going on over at Universal Studios. So it seems that, that they have been less busy than Islands of Adventure. Not that Islands of Adventure is even busy. It was a walk on to get onto the Hogwarts Express, uh, and it is 1.40 per car, just like everything else, so I am in the cabin alone. And the team member let me know that I need to keep my mask on at all times, and I am under surveillance. So for the safety of yourself and future guests, please keep your face coverings on at all times. Stay seated, sit back, relax. Next stop, King Trout Station. So they have the Quidditch shop and Weasley's open. Um, and then Shutterbug, but the, like, animal shop and something else back in the corner here are both closed. I didn't come down Nocturne Alley a few days ago when I was here because it was very dark. Morgan and Burks is open though. I said I wasn't gonna buy food, but when is there ever no line for ice cream? I never get cones because I am so messy, but it's so difficult to understand in these masks <laughs> that they thought I said cone when I said bowl. That's fine. I will <laughs> I will be fine. I might be a little messy at the end of this, but I got um, sticky toffee pudding and Earl Grey and lavender ice cream. This store and the um, travel store are also closed. I was just chilling on a bench and decided to check for Hagrid's passes again and I got one. Uh, it starts at 11.40 and it's currently 11.15 so I'm going to wait my bit. But I'm going to make my way back over to Island of Adventure. Yay! Docks out here. They've got one of the rest areas over here. Looks like SpongeBob and his friends and then maybe somebody else are, d are out down the road. We can take a socially distant selfie. Shrek's out over here. Donkey's over here. That sounds so made up. City Walk is pretty quiet. In line, I still have eight minutes until mine starts. Is this line eight minutes long? I don't think so. So I'm probably gonna have to go to the back again. Holy cow, that is a fun ride. It was, oh my goodness. I, I had heard that it was a little bit more intense than Everest, and I would say that's probably about right. But it's really fun. When I was here on Sunday, they didn't have any of the water stuff running. Um, and like on the rides either, there was none of the like splashing or the steam. This is on, so I wonder if the steam effects and stuff are on in the rides now. I haven't done, I think Forbidden Journey is the only one that I can think of that usually has it. And I haven't done that one today. 
It is 12.30 and it is definitely a lot busier now than it was earlier. There's still a whole lot of people come in. Based on the wait times in the app, there are definitely more people in islands than in studios, which I can only assume is because of Hagrid. Forbidden Journey is a 60 minute wait and Gringotts is a 20 minute wait. So I think I'm gonna head back over to studios because there's no one over there. A bodacious blue bubble and bumblebees buzzing won't cause you much trouble. C is for cookie. Who said that? Please stop. This C is for the Circus McGurkus Big Top. And D, that's a breeze. How about the daring young lad on the flying trapeze? Does anyone's name here start with D? Like Data or David or Dingus McGee? Minions is a 15 minute wait, which is pretty low for Minions. Trek is a 25 minute wait. I just passed a team member who is going through and wiping down all of the like lamp posts and um, benches and things that people might be touching. The, the uh, driver of the night bus is back here meeting at the back. Gonna go ride Gringotts hopefully. Gringotts was a literal walk on, like the, the line didn't even pause. I just walked straight to the car. I was in the front row and then there were I skipped two rows and there was one other person in the back row. What a time. They are still doing both shows over here. And they've got little places for everybody to stand in order to watch. I don't know if you can see because they're really far away, but Poppy and Branch are coming out. <laughs> I love the trolls. I've only ever met Poppy. Yay. They're so cute. <laughs> the Despicable Me kids are out here dancing. And it looks like Scooby-Doo and the gang are out meeting by Mouse. Look at the gang hanging out out here with masks that match their outfits. The horror makeup show entrance is down here, the line's down here, and then they're doing soft openings of the Born stunt show. So people are, I don't know if they're waiting for an extra time or if they're just hoping. Hello Kitty's out. It is so hot. It's, oh my goodness, it's hot. E.T. is a 10 minute wait, so I came back to ride it. And here's Patrick. which wasn't really a line. I decided to check the Universal app and I got another return time for Hagrid. So it's a lot of back and forth today, but now I'm going back to Islands of Adventure. This time I heard him say hit the purple button and it, that, that does make it even more fun. It is a very fun ride. It is just after four 
and I got here at 9 a.m. I have had a very full day. I walked over 10 miles and I have not made it through City Walk yet. So it's gonna be more than that. Whew, it's time to go home. Had a really good day. Really glad, glad I got to ride Hagrid's. That was really, really fun. I'm very excited about it. Oh, I will see you next time.